Okay, my friends, Roger once again. Researchers at MIT discovered that with just regular cameras, they can see photons. And what they did was they took 500 cameras and they watched as the photons moved to get like a 3D picture of light in progress. Now listen to what he has to say here. We are always fascinated with creating lighting effects that appear to come from very sophisticated light sources. But because we can watch photons seemingly moving through the space, we can analyze the transport, the movement of these photons, and create new photographs as if we had created those expensive light sources in a studio. Okay, and we did. Okay, here's what they did. They're looking for bullets of light traveling through space. Or bullets of light traveling through space. We use a very regular pulsed light source and a camera that is not one camera, but an array of 500 sensors. Each All right, so this is how they did it. They used 500 cameras, regular pulsed laser, and regular cameras. And we did the same thing, only we only used one camera, but we got stunning effects. So they say they can see photons. That is a photon. This is dark matter. We've never seen it before. And each one of these dark matters attaches to what they, we have always called an electron. So there's two electrons back to back like two bar magnets. That's a photon. Green, blue, red, they all look the same. We force those electrons to collide at a venturi and then the black and white parts separated. This is pulsed red laser. The particle I showed you, the photon, sits right there, concusses everything as it goes through the air, creating a wave effect because those polar fields have a magnetic influence that's huge. All right, this is our tuned Venturi. That's the pulsed red laser wave accelerating. The particle that was there is being pulled out, accelerating, crashing at the Venturi and separating. This is exactly what happens at the Venturi. The black balls that were attached to the white move away and the white showers continue on through the Venturi, identical to what CERN wants to see for muon neutrinos, electron neutrinos, creating the black ball, new muon doesn't change, electron showers change into white showers. Precisely what I have shown you right here. No difference whatsoever. And then when they recombine, this is fission because the black separates from the white. This is fusion when they come back together. This is atomic power on a desktop using a regular pulse red laser.